Now to the talk of Anderson's connection to a missing person. No names were spoken in court this morning, but the family of Sade Robinson was in the courtroom. Our Megan Lee in Cudahy now, where Robinson's friends and family are searching for new clues to her disappearance. That's right, Steve. Family and friends of Sade Robinson just got here at Warnemont Park to continue their search efforts in the missing teen. One of those searchers is Julia Ferreira. She says her son and the missing teen are great friends. She showed me some of these pictures. I want you to take a look at your screen so you can see these photos from Pizza Shuttle. The missing teen has worked at Pizza Shuttle for four years now, and Ferreira tells me her son and um, Sade have been friends. They've leaned on each other and she says that the pizza shuttle is like a family. She is urging the community to continue helping with the search efforts. We need to bring the heart of pizza shuttle back home. The heart of pizza shuttle Sade Robinson went missing on April 1st. Today, Julia Ferrero looks at photos of her son Benicio and Sade working together at the restaurant. They vibe, they listen to music, they laughed. I mean, they talked about everything. Julia just got back from visiting Benicio at college. She says her son is heartbroken over Sade's disappearance. He's devastated. Um, he's still marching on because Sade would want him to because she would be like, nope, I don't want you to be sad. I want you to keep living your life. Many pizza shuttle employees too upset to go on camera tell me her smiley presence is unforgettable. Julia would agree. Always laughing, smiling, making the customers feel like welcomed and the employees welcomed and just like always lit up the room. Family and friends are not losing hope. They want to bring their ray of light safely back home. She is somebody that is very special, you know, and I hope we can find some answers for her. Shade's disappearance comes in the same week that body parts have been found in and outside of Milwaukee. I did see Shade's family in court this morning for Maxwell Anderson's first court appearance. However, authorities have not yet connected or have not connected the body parts or um, with Shade Robinson. It, live in Cudahy, Megan Lee, TMJ4 News. Megan, thank you. As she just referred to, human remains were also found at 30th and Lisbon, just a block away from where Robinson's car was discovered. It was torched the morning after she went missing. Additional remains were found at 31st and Galena. Like Robinson's disappearance, investigators have not officially connected Anderson to any of those incidents at this time. And Susan, we did reach out to Maxwell Anderson's attorney this afternoon. He responded with an email declining to comment. Our next chance to learn more about this case is when Anderson is due back in court again. We expect to see him in court again within 72 hours. Susan. Steve Shamras, thanks so much. And through our reporting on this story, TMJ4 has learned we actually interviewed Maxwell Anderson on an unrelated topic back in 2016. This is what Maxwell Anderson looked like eight years ago when we talked to him about banning tobacco at what was then known as Miller Park. This tells us Anderson has ties to the area for nearly a decade.